after earth cutting whatever material loose material is available it has to be dumped somewhere so in order to dump the loose material earth material it has to be loaded on a dumper or a truck and taken to some place so for this particular purpose we, the basic machine that we require is called loader and it is mounted on the front side of the tractor therefore it is called front and loader right. loading of mud earth material from the ground to dumper or any other suitable place is the main function therefore it is called loader right loading you see basically it is a tractor on the tractor we are attaching some frames and buckets which will finally help in loading of the material so in this picture also you can see this is basically a tractor it has got some arrangement for uh, attaching the bucket which will finally load the material All right so a loader is a heavy equipment machine used to move aside or load materials into or onto another type of machinery like trucks belt hopper etc it is a type of tractor and typically includes a support frame so it has got some support frame hydraulic system to control the support frame for lifting and lowering pair of push or lift arm it's called boom you can see this portion is called boom all right hinge to the top of the support frame so in this tractor here somewhere there will be our support frame so on the support frame the boom is hinged hinged means it is a joint where motion can be in one axis you see in this case this particular boom can move in one axis that is in y axis this cannot move in x axis or z axis First, hinge is a type of joint which allows movement only in one direction like for example you can look at the door door is hinged in one side you can move the door only in one axis it's not it opening and closing it cannot be lifted or lowered it cannot be pushed uh, or pulled in z direction so such a joint is called hinge you see this is your hinge point here here there will be one another hinge point all right and a pair of uh, the dump arms hinge with the push arm to the bucket there will be another pair inside here uh, behind the bucket anyway they are used to scoop up loose material from the ground such as dirt, sand or gravel and move it from one place to another without pushing the material across the ground. So the purpose of dozer is for pushing the material. But the purpose of this is not for pushing, for collecting the material and then load it or dump it somewhere else. Alright, this is the difference between dozer and loader. Dozer is for dozing, pushing. Loader is for carrying. It is what bucket. So bucket is used for carrying, isn't it? So that is the main difference. Now they may be carried by a crawler or four wheel drive tractors for heavy work and two wheel drive tractors for lighter work. So we are already aware crawler tractors are used in extreme conditions for heavy work or four wheel drive. Four wheel drive means there are four wheels, but not necessarily this is a four wheel drive tractor. Four wheel drive tractor means those tractors in which power from the engine is distributed to all four wheels. In case of our normal day to day car, power from the engine is distributed only to the two front wheels. So those are called two wheel drive tractor or two wheel drive cars. But in four wheel drive cars, engine from the, the power from the engine is distributed all the four wheels. So they have uniform power all over the wheels and they can work in extreme conditions where you need high power, high torque. Alright, in uh, muddy condition, 
sandy condition, snow condition. In such cases, four wheel drive trackers are very useful. If you look at your bike, motorbike, or cycle, for that matter, there are two wheels, but the power from the engine or power from the pedal in case of cycle goes only on the rear wheel. The front wheel does not have any power. It's only used for handling purpose and for stability purpose. Right. So there is difference between four wheel and two wheel drive. So this can be replaced. Probably may be removable attachment or permanently mounted. Often the bucket can be replaced with other devices or tools like forks or drillers, etc. So in this case, you see the loader bucket has been replaced with fork. So this has become fork loader. If you replace with a drill, this will become power driller or power drill. So the attachment on the front can be replaced from bucket to fork or drill. So accordingly, the name of the machine will change. All right, so basically this is tractor. It's got similar arrangement, boom, cylinder. Only the soil working part. In this case, your bucket is the soil working part. This portion will be engaged in lifting or lowering the soil. In this case, fork is the main working part. In this case, drill is the main working tool. All right. So just changing the end portion, we can uh, alter the machine for different purpose. So you don't have to buy a completely different machine for forklifting or a completely different machine for drill. You just have to change the attachment. So in this way, from the same machine, you can have multiple work. All right. See, large loader they have large loaders they have front bucket and are called front loaders or loaders whereas small front small loader tractors are also equipped with small backhoe and are called backhoe loaders or loader backhoes or loader camho or front loader with backhoe so this portion is called ho the rear portion this portion is called loader this portion is responsible for digging excavating we cannot excavate or dig with this. Its purpose is to lift or scoop up the dug soil from the soil surface and dump it on a dumper or truck or any other suitable place. The purpose of this is for digging, excavation. It penetrates into the uncut soil. For this loader, it will work on the cut soil, whatever soil has already been cut, that particular soil will be scooped up using this loader bucket. So, large front bucket, wherever they are used, there will be only bucket and a small, and if there is a small bucket, it can be attached with a back hole. So, the rear portion is called back hole. Unlike most bulldozers, most loaders are wheeled and not tracked. It means most of the uh, loaders are wheel mounted, like this, not track mounted. Because they don't have to push, they don't need traction. If you are to push the soil, huge amount of traction will be required on the wheels. Traction means friction force, torque. But our purpose is only for lifting the cut soil. So normal wheels are also easily able to do the job. So we don't need to have the tracks. But in case of bulldozer, we have to push the soil. So pushing is difficult. It's heavy. It requires high torque and, and power. Therefore, most dozers have track for pushing the snow, for pushing uh, landslide uh, soil material. 
so in this way for pushing we need high torque that's why for pushing we have tracks but anyway in some case loaders also have tracks but it's little uncommon most of the loaders they have wheel pneumatic rubber wheel all road track loaders are also getting popular all right they are successful where sharp edge materials in construction debris could damage rubber wheels or where the ground is soft and muddy so in case you are working in in condition where there are sharp edges like a, a building has been demolished you have to go and transport some material from the demolished site so in that case there may be iron rods cement chips stones which may be harmful to the wheels so in that case also we can have this kind of track mounted loaders or in case the ground is soft and muddy where the chances of sinkage are more in such case also we can have track type loader okay wheels provide better mobility and speed and do not damage paved roads as much as tracks but provide less traction so we already know wheels wheel mounted tractors they have higher mobility their working speed is more so they have those advantage but the traction is less traction means the friction force on or simply you can understand that torque on the wheel is less major components of a loader major components engine definitely engine is their hydraulic systems bucket or loader this may be sometimes called loader definitely that the engine runs both the hydraulics and the transmission and this in turn move the front attachment a bucket a fork or sweeper or whatever attachment is there in the front to manipulate the material lifting scooping there is like manipulating the material which are to be handled and the wheels or trucks to move the machine around the job so that means engine is running everything hydraulic system for transmission for uh, manipulating the material lifting of material and also for for moving your tracks or wheels capacity of loader bucket can be from 0.5 to 36 meter cube you see 0.5 meter cube is a small one maybe this size or even smaller than this 36 meter cube you see this is very big extremely big 36 meter cube Just imagine the volume. So you see, uh, a typical loader with rubber wheels and only front loader. This loader, whole loader. On the front side, it has got the bucket. white bucket and the back side is got ho a small bucket so here i provided a link you can go through this video to see uh, you might have already seen loader working in job site on the road side like several times but anyway you can go through this link provided here the size of this bucket is the width of the tractor but this is small all right why this is small because it has to do excavation or digging where the soil is rigid hard on the mountains or underground below soil level so those surface are hard so for digging we need more force basically more pressure so the contact area of this this small bucket will be less when the contact area is less pressure will be more therefore for digging the bucket is narrow for lifting scooping the bucket are wide all right so this is 
the basic all the basics of front loader. 